Hello everyone, today my job is to fix the overheating of Perkins Diesel. I chose this product, Barnacle Buster, for this process. I'm not endorsed by them in any way, so today will be an honest review. And hopefully this will be the only issue, because this process has never been done. We had to cut the sea trowel short due to the engine overheating. The impeller was okay, yet almost no water was ejecting. I need to find tight-fitting reducers and hosers to make this process work properly. By using what I have on hand, lucky for me, there are lots of parts to choose from. Realize that I hooked up the output of the engine to the output of the pump where that's actually where I want to pour into the bucket so this is the one I hooked up to the C strainer I'm gonna switch those out right now So now you can see this is the one going to my C strainer. It goes right into the bucket. And then the one that comes out from the top of the engine here at the heat exchanger will pour into this bucket, which is held down by a little rope right here. Hopefully it goes in there and I don't have to put an additional hose to make it the last four inches. All right, one last check. I've got my hose going into the engine there. Follow that around, goes to a diverter, which is shut off for the generator. Goes to my extension hose and then over to the bucket. Then over here, it goes, follow this. So that goes into the engine, it goes into the gear shift or the transmission, the transmission cooler right there. It goes through this line, goes to the water pump where I've removed the impeller so that that's not slowing the flow. And then that goes to my front of my heat exchanger, which is right there. So this is what we're using here, Barnacle Buster, heard great things about it. It is a 4 to 1 mixture with water. And locate, rotate it or circulate it for one hour. So I'm going to pour this into a bucket. this four more times. Just in case I have to handle something, I'm gonna get some rubber gloves. 
Oh, I see. I put them actually by the shop just for this. <laughs> I forgot. Sorry about the bad angles, but we do not have a tripod yet, it's still in our shipping. Wow, that just takes rust off as soon as I put, start pouring it. They poured like less than half of it in there. I don't know if there's air pockets or what, but I'm using a very small bucket. So I've only used about half of what I mixed, and it seems to already be circulating. See the color quickly changing. Look around, make sure I don't see any leaks, but I need two hands for that. Alright, so this is the view from inside of our what I call workshop. Um, running the barnacle buster through a utility pump. It comes, it's pumping into the pipe after the sea strainer. So it goes through all the lines of the engine, the water pump. I removed the water impeller so that there's a clear flow and no obstructions. Goes through the heat exchanger and then pours back into here. It's only been about about five or six minutes, maybe less than ten, and that water is so dirty. And I have a whole other bucket here to do another flush. I found the perfect size container. Uh, the hose, one hose had to be greatly extended and the other one had to be just bent down to build a pour inside here, but it's working fantastically. I'll be able to flush this out now. After an hour, I'll flush it out and I'll do a new batch with fresh barnacle buster. And then we should have a nice clean cooling engine. Put a brand new water impeller in there and we'll be ready to motor down the ICW in no time. I took the barnacle buster out, which is right here. It is just black. The flow of fluid coming through the pump diminished to almost nothing. I thought it was actually going to speed up, but it slowed down. So I did a flush of water, and you can see even the water flushing out is nearly black. So it was very dirty. I'm going to prepare now to do the second barnacle buster batch. All right, now I'm getting ready to flush this again with the last batch of Barnacle Buster. I reversed the flow, so now it's gonna go backwards and I'm hoping to get a little bit more water flow because it was not going incredibly quick. So get these hoses in here and get this pump turned on and then I'll start pouring.
Oh, it's spraying much better now. Spraying like a hose. That's what I want to see. So this is the second flush of Barnacle Buster and see how dirty that water is. How much that's taken out. So that's the Barnacle Buster, flush with tons of water, then the Barnacle Buster again, and do another couple of flushes of water. So this is the fourth batch and you can see ooh, how dirty that water still is. And if you look over here on the counter, those are pieces of impeller that are coming out when I flush it backwards. I've had about twice that many pieces of impeller that were left inside the system from not changing the impeller often enough or changing the impeller even though it was broken without even uh, taking the time to get the broken pieces out which clog it up. So that's why I had no water flow. This is now the third bucket of just flushing after the first flush in between of waters so a lot's been flushed it's getting clearer you can see through it it's still pretty dirty but with all the crud that came out and pieces of impeller now I'm getting a huge water flow the whole pipe is just blowing up the first couple times I ran this, it was so slow the water was just drizzling over there, almost dripping, making the pipe pump overheat. So I would say this was a successful flush. Now I get to, to put my plumbing back together and the job's all done. As you can see, this process was a complete success. It worked fantastically and I'm very happy with it. My engine will definitely not be overheating now as there will be adequate water flow. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you learned something from this video and will help you if you have to do the same process. Have a great evening and tune in next week to see what else we're up to.